By 2025, electric vehicle EV owners here will have access to more fast chargers that are located at public commercial car parks owned by the housing board. Rated at either 30 kW kW or 50 kW. These fast chargers will be set up at places such as Tomon Jurong Shopping Center, Woodlands Civic Center and Limbang Shopping Center in Choa Chu Kong, under contracts awarded to Comfort Delgro on CDG Anger in Capelone Vault, Singapore. EV Electric Charging EF, a subsidiary of the Land Transport Authority, set up to oversee the rollout of EV chargers in Singapore, said on June 14 that the two new contracts will cover a total of 20 sites. Primarily, HDB commercial complexes, as well as other publicly accessible car parks. The charging points to be set up include a mix of both fast and slow chargers. EVE defines fast chargers as those that use direct current DC, which can feed power directly to a car's battery, while slow chargers are those that use alternating current AC. With the two new contracts, 50 kW DC chargers will be installed at 11 locations across the island. There will also be 30 kW DC chargers at six locations, including Elias Mall and Luoyang Point in the east, two 22 kW AC charging points at Revenue House in Novena, and 7.4 kW AC chargers at Riverville Plaza and Choa Chu Kong Center. With fast chargers, EV drivers can typically get half of a full charge in about 30 minutes. In contrast, an EV typically reaches a full charge after 6 to 8 hours using a slow charger. The new public fast chargers will be set up progressively by 2025, with the first site expected to be ready by end 2024. If say CDG Engia and Volt Singapore are among eight pre-qualified EVE charging operators here that have been tasked with advancing Singapore's next phase of public EV charger rollout. These eight operators were evaluated based on stringent quality standards, including financial health, project management, operational expertise, and their ability to improve customer experience. If added, it said the contracts awarded for the new charges are part of the government's plan to install 120 fast charges at about 60 car parks in HDB commercial buildings, town and neighborhood centers, and industrial premises owned by JTC Corporation. This plan kicked off in January with the rollout of public fast charges at HDB Hub in Toa Payo and the Oasis Terraces neighborhood center in Pangal. With the aim of targeting public car parks frequented by high mileage EV drivers such as cabbies and private hire drivers. This came after industry feedback, with heavy EV users asking for more fast charges at public car parks. Where parking rates are more affordable and there are amenities, such as coffee shops. If Chief Executive Derek Tan said, fast charging will help to minimize their downtime even as they take a quick break. We hope these new fast charges across various HDB commercial complexes will give them that much-needed boost. Currently, most fast charges in Singapore are located on private commercial premises such as malls and offices. More broadly, the government's aim is to install at least 12,000 EV chargers in about 2,000 HDB car parks by 2025. To achieve this, it picked five companies in November 2022 to expand the public charging network. With the bulk of the chargers rolled out under this large-scale tender being 7.4 kW slow chargers that are mostly located on the third deck of HDB multi-storey car parks. By 2030, the goal is for there to be 60,000 EVE charging points island-wide, of which 40,000 will be in public car parks and 20,000 on private premises such as malls and condominiums. There are about three. 550 publicly accessible charging points in Singapore as at end May.